everyone and welcome back to my channel luma moon tarot so guys i shuffled your decks okay and honestly really person watching you have been working like a little fiend building up your pentacles man you are so extremely abundant um on the bottom of both decks uh this is the empress in the minor arcana here uh, tons of transformation that you've done on yourself and you're extremely abundant and there really is no uh, no one can no one can say otherwise really um, the most you can have in a deck is 10 pentacles you've got nine here and you've worked really hard on it whoever was led to this video you know what stop whatever it is that you're doing and just take one big deep breath because all of the effort that you put into yourself is it's paying off either now or it is freaking about to. Um, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you. So please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. But so far, <laughs> claim this manifestation as your own, man. Because this is what's coming for you if it hasn't already started yet. And this is kind of wow to get this on the bottom of both decks um and thank you to everyone <laughs> thank you to everyone for your likes subscribes comments shares donations um everything that you do that helps this channel grow i love you guys so so much and we literally are growing this num this channel in numbers together together um thank you for the shares Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, N newbies, man, join the team. Uh, when I first started this channel, I felt so alone in this journey. And now we're like, what, what are we now, guys? 29,000 strong. So, um, or is it 20, is it 28 or 29K? I don't remember. I mean, um, you won't be alone, okay? You where no one here at this channel is alone in this. All right. So anyway, guys, <coughs> excuse me. I'm really, really jazzed about this because this is very odd to get both of the nine of pentacles on the bottom of both decks. Like, boom, this is in your face or in everybody's face. Uh, abundance growth like i said a ton of effort you know this is a person here who well, number one i see as being single okay um a single person here uh not speaking because you've only you've had a lot to do you've been busy building an empire here and it's paying off whatever it is you're putting your uh energy into your creativity into it's paying off huge huge and and there's no disputing that everybody i feel is able to see this change in you you're very high vibing you have um been basically dropped on the bottom right like body slammed i feel and you built yourself from the ground up you don't get to the emperor status unless you've been put through hell Okay, so you put forth so much effort into yourself. Man, are you tired? Because <laughs> look, this is amazing. Take a deep breath. Every, all the effort you put in, it's finally paying off. It's finally paying off. Let's look at what's on, underneath here. Yeah, look, and someone here wants to come and tell you how they feel about you. They, I'm telling you, other people can see this. You are shining so brilliantly that it cannot be disputed by anyone the work the progress you've put in everyone can see it and you know this is a person here the the nine of pentacles is someone who was highly underestimated highly underestimated because two hands before this one you were at the seven of pentacles where you were waiting around for someone or you know, this is how they saw you, right? They saw you as someone who would wait. 
They saw you as someone in peasant clothing who um, had a lot of work to do and wasn't able to reap any kind of, of a reward for that. Um, these are people who maybe saw you as always being low on the totem pole. Guess what? You are now at the top. You know, again, ever since I started this channel, before I started this channel, um, way before I started this channel, actually, um, the one thing that I kept remembering through this whole entire journey is, um, I don't remember who it was who said it. I think it was the ghetto nun. It, either the ghetto nun or Chanel Bader is who I heard it from first. Um, those who were on the bot or those who were on the top before will now be on the bottom. And those who were on the bottom are now going to be on the top. I feel like you've always been underestimated person watching. You have. But now, like I said, it's indisputable. You, this is flipped. Just like that Seven of Pentacles and how people saw you, that's flipped too. Um, your struggles, right, being dragged through the dirt, that's flipped too. No one can dispute it. It's in everybody's face. You're shining too bright. You are so high vibing. Keep going. Keep going. Um, yeah, I'm going to put these two together because that's you. Someone's coming forward here to, to communicate. Um, they really want to reach out, tell you how they're feeling about you, okay? Um, I feel like this was a third-party situation. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. But, um, yeah, this person, they're trapped in their mind about this. I feel like you're at a time in your life, too, where you're celebrating life. You're celebrating it. And I feel like this person can see you living your best life for real. And after, you know, you put a lot of work into this. This is yours, your abundance. And they see you shining. And it's keeping them up at night, see, because they remember when they came in and they used you. Mm-hmm. They remember when they used you. They used you. They played you. They came in, used this wand as the male phallic in order to be intimate, and left. Because they saw you as the seven of pentacles. They didn't know you were going to flip into an empress. And now they're in a lot of regret. Can't stop thinking about how they did you before. Okay? Because you're nowhere near the shape you were in when they left you. Now everything's been flipped. Those who were on the bottom are now on the top. Uh, yeah, this is keeping this person up at night, by the way. They can't um, get any sleep. And during the day, too, they're trapped in their mind. And we've got nine swords here. So they're during the day when they're awake, they're awake 24-7. Uh, I feel like they're, they're hiding how they feel, hiding their regret, hiding the fact that they want to come forward and talk to you, having all this love for you, wanting to apologize for how they played you. This person is laying here in bed at night, too, thinking, how am I going to make this right? Because they screwed you over. And they underestimated you. And they treated you like an option. They treated you like you were that person who was going to wait and struggle in poverty. Like working on something that wasn't ever going to pay off. Guess what? Whatever it is you're doing, it's paying off. This person can't think, they can't think straight anymore. They've got too many thoughts in their head all the time. Burdened. Look, they can't carry this burden e anymore either. This person is... You haven't heard from this person, haven't seen this person, I feel like, because they've been hiding their face. They've been hiding their face because, you know what, they're embarrassed and ashamed about how they played you in the past. They didn't know you were going to flip into an empress. Yeah. So now, 
you know, this person can't sleep. As they lay here in bed, though, they're looking at this ugly, 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 ugly comforter. But the thing about this comforter is the pattern. They're looking at their, the patterns of their behavior and what they do to women. I'm seeing women here and a man who uses, comes in and uses them and leaves. But they did this to an empress, an empress that now they have love for. Now they regret that they turned their back on this soulmate connection here, okay? And they're so burdened by this that they cannot, they can't carry these burdens anymore. We're at a 10 now in your first row. <laughs> and you know why? You know why we're at a 10 already in your first row? Because not only are you an empress, but you're elevating to a whole new level where they can barely reach you because they didn't do the work on themselves. They allowed themselves to, I feel, follow someone else out into the cold. This person may not even have a lot of money right now. Times are tight for them. I feel like this is their karma as they hobble around here, not knowing where they're going. You know what I mean? Where are they going? These, this is somebody who could even be homeless, but I'm not feeling that I'm feeling that they're they're definitely ha having financial issues though and you you're stepping into a very abundant new cycle see all this green around you here you're heading right into it this is just the beginning <sighs> and they can see that and so can you this is only the you, these nine pentacles here these nine pentacles that you have all for just you right that's only the beginning because you're stepping into a very abundant new cycle okay this is just the start your whole life is going to transform here your whole life is going to transform you're going from the bottom darling to the top yes Yes, you are. Yes, yes, it is true. And yes, you worked for this and you freaking deserve it. But your person, they're in a world of hurt right now over this, over you excelling in life and getting what you want. This person's their finances are shot. They're, they're having health issues. They could be out in the cold somewhere following someone behind that they don't love because they love you. Mm -hmm. They just didn't see you for who you were before. Okay? They thought you were on the bottom. You were always going to be on the bottom. They didn't know about the flip. They didn't hear what I heard years ago from another reader. They didn't know that those who were on the bottom are now going to be on the top. They didn't know that. And those who were on the top are now going to be on the bottom. And it, it's due to their player energy. The way they screwed you over in the past. The way they used you in the past. The way they didn't speak to you about anything, bring you any clarity in the past. The way they sat here in this stagnant energy and just allowed you to heal and build an empire. But still, some things must be discussed, right? Or should be. You haven't heard anything from this person because they've been hiding their face. Look, they've been hiding because they're ashamed of themselves because they're embarrassed and because now in order to make this right they need to approach you in this energy someone who's leveling up someone who's elevating like I said to um, a level where they can't really reach you at least not easily I'll tell you that much 
Yeah. Um, and you're just, you're kind of turn the other cheek on this. Look at the way you're looking off to the side here. You're looking forward towards your happiness. Okay. I don't even think you're paying attention to this person anymore. And honestly, by the Ten of Wands here and the Nine, and the nine of Swords, this has been going on for a long time. This stagnancy, not hearing from this person, them hiding their face. This has been going on for a long time. You had a lot of time to go after the things that, that you love, the things that are going to make you happy. You had a lot of time to heal and elevate. And become absolutely majestic you've had a lot of time to build that empire they gave you a lot of time partially do because they are ashamed at the frivolous and immature way that they treated you before I, I feel like being used in a sexual way is a form of abuse I really do, especially the way they, they kept you trapped and kind of, this isn't your energy, but this is not trapped. I don't want to say trapped because you did a lot of effort on yourself. You redirected your energy and focus, but they, they, they kept you at, in stagnancy. Let's say that. They didn't even try to make it right. You just heard nothing. They came and used you. They were gone. But they've been watching you succeed. Yeah, stagnancy. You know why? Because they chose the devil over their wish fulfillment. They chose a devil. And in this devil energy here, they were bound and trapped here with some other individual. I will call this person the karmic for now just to make it a bit easier. But this person here that they're with is in, held in high regard by the devil. See how the, the devil is holding their hand up? Your person, however, is getting tortured, tormented. Why? Because they've always been standing in this position here in between having a choice to make, knowing who it is that they want with a passion and not moving on it for a very long period of time with the devil. But the whole time, see, this person knew. This person knew that you were their wish fulfillment. But they hid it. They sat on it, see, while they were giving to the devil. While you were expecting some kind of truth and clarity um, for the backstabbing. See that sword that um, you that she's holding up that's a sword that was pulled out of your back I feel like you wanted the truth here but this person was a schmoozer otherwise they're with this queen of swords but see the thing is is the scales are about to be tipped a little bit things are about to get shaken up because with the wheel of fortune here it's the end of this last cycle. Um, this devil here, I feel like the devil is about to be booted. You know. But your person, they're in so much regret over what they did. And how, and the bad decisions that they made. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo here. Taurus, Aries. Capricorn, fire sign, air sign. But I, I feel like, you know, they ran out of time. They squandered all of their time here. This person was given time. They were given messages. They were given downloads. They were given signs and synchronicities that they needed to come forward and speak their truth and confront all of these crappy things that they've done in the past. And they haven't been wanting to do that. They've been standing here in this position thinking about how they really want you instead, but how they treated you and played you. Okay? So they haven't been wanting to face this. They haven't been wanting to confront this. This person's been scared and ashamed. 
Okay, but now it's time with the wheel out here. It's time to get the ball rolling. It's time for this cycle to close out the proper way. You're moving forward, person watching. And you know that you've got stability. You know you're going to be on top here, right? The cycle has flipped for you. They thought you were on the bottom, and they probably thought you were always going to be there. They didn't hear what I heard years ago. And now everything is flipped, and this person needs to roll with it. They need to roll with that. Because now the universe is like, time's up. These want to come out. Yeah, this person wants to come towards you, tell you how they feel about you, get you in this boat, get you to calmer waters. Um, but they've got some devil energy to clean up here. Okay. I, it, this is the central focus. Is, the, is that they stayed too long with this devil in a fake situation, in a fake relationship with the devil. And it's fake because they knew all along that you were their wish. Okay? So this person's, I feel like they've got some cleanup. I feel like they want to come and tell you how they feel about you because how can they, how can they resist Plus, the universe is pushing them to do it. But if you get in this boat with them now, look at where you are. They're in control of the boat, and you are once again surrounded by all of those swords in front of you, covered up with a blanket. Let's think about this for a second. You have done so much work on yourself. You've put in so much effort. And this is usually a wonderful card. But honestly, I'm looking at your position in this. What would happen to you if you got in this boat with this person right now? When they haven't worked on themselves, they haven't healed from the pain, they haven't healed from the sad thoughts of how they've treated you and their, their behavior in the past, and they could still be sitting in stagnancy with the devil. So where do you look at your position in the boat? They're in control of the boat, and you and your family, you and the kid, you're surrounded by all of these burdens, trapped. All you can see are the swords in a jail, covered up with a blanket. You won't be heard. Your, uh, I feel like your opinion won't be taken into any kind of account. And you'll just be sitting there trapped while they cover you up. I know I hate to give you that news, but as a reader, I have to be honest with what I see, okay? The, the, this card, the, the Six of Swords, is a very good card. It tells about a person who wants to get things, wants to get you in a calmer space with them. They want to try to make amends. They want to try to work through these burdens, maybe, um, so that they don't hurt anymore. They don't want you to hurt. They don't want them to hurt. But if you get in this boat with this person now before they do the work, the healing, and the cleanup, you're going to be the one who's trapped and burdened. Okay. This person has to do the work on themselves just like you did in order to meet you at this level. And if they don't come to you correct and you accept an offer, you're going to have to go through all of their karma and clean up with them. All right. What else can you show me? This is a person who wants to come to you. Do you understand me? They want to come to you. 
they want to come to you bad look they know the difference they know the error of their choices my god how can they not it's indisputable it's undeniable okay this person yes they want to come towards you yes they do but are they in the right kind of energy to come to you right now do you see what i'm saying I think you'll have to use your discernment and your intuition with everyone who approaches you, okay? Yeah, but with temperance here, I feel like there's divine intervention. I feel like, like I said, your person's getting signs, synchronicities, downloads, messages, just like you did. And there, you know, I feel like the divine is trying to work things around here to get this you know they god knows what's in your person's heart whether they're with the devil or not they see everything they know that you are their one you are their one person watching this person made a really crappy choice when they underestimated you okay that is true but this is somebody who wants to come towards you it's just like like i said They've got some things to take care of. They have to come to you correctly in order for this connection to work. And the divine knows that. They know that. So they're, they're trying to get your person to look at things. They're trying to get your person to realize things, which they are. Progress is being made here, but you're, like I said, your person still needs to do some work. They need to heal. They need to do some cleanup. And the divine is here helping them with that. Okay. All right. So what else do you have for me here? That one got stuck to my fingers, so I'm taking it. Yeah, all of this is the truth. And you know, honestly, with the Ace of Swords out here, this truth, the true self sh shall set you free, right? If your person wants to get freed from the devil, what do they have to do? They have to speak the truth. The truth shall set you free. You know, so I feel like the truth needs, needs to be spoken. It needs to come out. Clarity needs to be given. It, it's needed it for a very long, long, drawn out time. Okay? But it's, it's equally true that your person needs to heal. They need to heal, person watching. You know, when we're talking about love, man, the heart wants what the heart wants. Your person wants you. And you want your person. But don't you also want a healthy relationship? This, even though they want to get you to calmer waters, does that look healthy to you? Does that look healthy to you? They need to do the work in order to come to you correctly. They, they have the love, but they need to heal things. Um, one more card, please. One more card for the person watching. I feel like... You, you already have, you've kind of created, like gotten your own clarity. Not created it, but intuition, right? You've used your intuition and you've gotten your own clarity enough so that you've healed and you've built something solid for you. All right? Right now, yeah, your person has work to do. <laughs> this is putting in the work. This is putting in the work. Yeah, they've got work to do. Anyway, person watching, this is what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps, okay? And I also hope it resonates. Um, and if you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help us all grow, right? And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.